Hey everyone, I'm Sam from Professional Music Technology. I'm Meg. And we've got a little announcement for you guys. We're getting married! Yes! <laughs> All right! <laughs> yeah, right. As if. Absolutely no chance. All right, he's up. Um, but let's just say, for argument's sake, we were getting married. After all, it is every little boy's dream to plan his own wedding day. One of the most important things on my to-do list would definitely be to sort out a PA system for the big day. So even though we're filming this in the middle of December, which isn't really peak wedding season here in the UK, if you are watching this because you're planning your special day, you've probably already got enough on your plate deciding on bridesmaids dresses, seating plans, and of course, how you're gonna tell that weird uncle that he's not invited. So we thought we'd help you tick one thing off that to-do list by recommending some of the best types of PA system for your wedding day. We picked out a few different types of systems to suit different types of wedding, from small and intimate ceremonies to larger, more lavish occasions, just in case that guest list has got a little out of control. All of these systems have been designed to be pretty discreet and stylish, so they don't ruin your carefully curated color scheme, whilst at the same time offering excellent sound quality for a number of different applications, including speeches, singers, and of course, the inevitable drunken disco at the end of the night. So if you're looking for a multi-purpose sound system for your wedding day or other special occasions, hopefully we can point you in the right direction. So the first type of PA system that we're going to take a look at is what's known as a column array PA. And these are really well suited to events such as weddings because they offer great sound quality and projection, but they're also pretty compact and lightweight and they're super easy to set up. Now, these types of column or line array PAs are usually designed to be all-in-one units, meaning that they comprise of a subwoofer unit to handle the bass frequencies, which also houses the amplifier and the mixer for your mics and other inputs. And then there's the speaker column sections, which connect directly into the subunit, handling the mid-range and high frequencies, whilst also raising the speakers up above head height to project the sound into your venue. The advantages of this type of PA is, as I mentioned a moment ago, they're incredibly quick and easy to set up, and they also look pretty sleek and don't take up much room. And due to the nature of their line array speaker design, unlike a conventional PA setup, they can be positioned pretty much anywhere in the room and still deliver an even sound coverage without the risk of feedback from microphones. There's quite a lot of different options available from manufacturers including Bose, Yamaha, JBL and RCF. So I will leave a link to our five best column array PAs video in the description. But for now, we're just gonna quickly look at two particular systems and that's the Bose L1 Pro 8 and the JBL PRX1. Of the two, the Bose is the more compact, more lightweight system, weighing just over 17 kilos. But with a power output of 300 watts, it's still easily loud enough for most small to medium sized wedding venues. The subwoofer unit houses a pretty unique 7x13 inch racetrack style speaker, so you get a powerful bass end without the bulk of a conventional shaped driver. And the high frequency speaker column section is home to a C-shaped array of eight 5.1 centimeter neodymium drivers, delivering 180 degree horizontal coverage and that exceptional clarity that Bose systems are renowned for. Plus, the L1 Pro A offers two speaker heights to choose from, allowing you to remove the spacer column if you don't need that additional height and projection in more intimate venues. In terms of input options, the Bose's onboard mixer section features three input channels, so that's two for microphones or instruments, and then a third stereo channel for a line input such as a keyboard or an MP3 player. The two mono inputs utilize Bose's tone match technology, which optimize the sound of your mics and instruments, with various EQ and effects presets available via the rotary encoders or the Bose L1 Mix app. And finally, the L1 Pro 8 features Bluetooth connectivity, which means that you can stream music or other audio from your phone, tablet, or laptop through the system wirelessly. So if you need something small for speeches, background music, or maybe for a solo musician accompanying your walk down the aisle, the Bose L1 Pro 8 is a great option, as it's really easy to use and it sounds fantastic. Every breath you take Every move you make Every bond you break Every step you take I'll be watching you Oh, can't you see You belong to me My poor heart aches With every 
step you take, every breath you take. The JBL PRX1, on the other hand, is probably more suitable if you've got a larger venue or you need more input options. So, for example, you plan on having a small band or a group of musicians playing at your ceremony. This one offers an output power of a thousand watts RMS, so it's going to be quite a bit louder than the Bose. Plus, you get more flexibility when it comes to the inputs, as this one features a seven channel digital mixer with XLR inputs for microphones, high Z jack inputs for instruments, and a mini jack line input for a laptop or MP3 player. Plus, there's handy USB connections, ensuring that your tablet won't run out of charge at the worst possible moment. Each input has built-in EQ and effects, adjusted either via the easy-to-read screen and menus, or from the JBL Pro Connect app on a mobile device, which connects to the unit via Bluetooth. And all of your user settings can be easily stored and recalled, which is really handy for if you're using the PA system for multiple speech or music applications across the big day. All of this does mean that it is a slightly larger, heavier system, weighing just over 25 kilos, and it is probably a little more complicated to use, especially if you do start to dive into those menu settings. But it's still very easy to transport and assemble, as it quickly splits down into three sections, coming supplied with a dedicated carry case for the line array sections. Those sections are home to a total of 12 high quality 2.5 inch high frequency drivers with a wide 130 degree spread. And the 12 inch subwoofer speaker extends the low frequency response down to 35 Hertz. So when coupled with the powerful amplifier, the system's not only gonna give you crystal clear speech reproduction in larger rooms, but it's also gonna offer some real power and low end thump for if you wanted to use the PA system for a DJ or a band at your after party. This could be love because I've had the time of my life And I've never felt this way before Yes, I swear it's the truth And I owe it all to you And I owe it all to you The next type of PA systems that we're going to take a look at are portable battery powered sound systems. Perfect for if you're planning a wedding in a slightly more remote or outdoor venue where you're going to need amplification but you don't necessarily want the inconvenience of having to take a noisy generator. Two of the most popular options for this type of PA both come from JBL and that's the Eon One Pro and the Eon One Compact. Weighing just 8 kilos and featuring an 8 inch speaker, the compact version is perfect for if you just need something small and portable, but with its 112 dB max sound level output, it's still pretty loud and punchy and offers a surprisingly versatile array of features. Despite its small size, you still get a four channel mixer, so that's two inputs for microphones, one for an instrument, and then a separate line input for a music player. Plus, you can also stream music via Bluetooth and adjust EQ and effect settings from a mobile device, just like you can on the larger JBLPA systems. And there's USB sockets for charging your phone or tablet. The onboard lexicon effects sound great if you want to add a touch of reverb for a singer. And one other really handy feature is the one-touch ducking mode, which automatically lowers the volume of any background music whenever speech is detected through a microphone, ensuring that every word is heard clearly. Now, obviously, the reason that we're recommending these systems here, however, is because of their ability to run on batteries. And the Eon One Compact's rechargeable battery offers up to 12 hours playing time with a charging time of around about two and a half hours. And if you also wanted to buy a spare battery, you know, just in case, this can be swapped out really easily without using any tools. And finally, to add to its versatility, the unit features a tilt back design, so it can be placed on either the floor or a table and angled upwards. Or if you did need a little more sound projection, it also has a speaker pole mount, so it can be put on a stand and raised up in the air. If I should stay, I would only be in the hole. So I go Yes, I know I'll think of you each step of the way And I, I will always love you 
The bigger brother of the Eon 1 Compact is the JBL Eon 1 Pro, which is a more powerful line array style system with more input options, but it still offers the ability to use the PA when mains power isn't an option. In terms of specs, this one offers an output power of 380 watts, split between its 8 inch subwoofer and 6 2 inch drivers up in the line array section, so it's pretty loud considering it weighs just 16 kilos and collapses down to all fit into a single unit, making it really easy to carry the entire system to and from your venue with just one hand. The mixer section on the Pro is also more comprehensive than on the compact version, featuring six channels. So that's four mono mic or line channels and one stereo line input. Each of the mic channels features treble and bass EQ controls. There's 48 volt phantom power for condenser mics, reverb effect sends, and again, it's Bluetooth enabled for streaming music and there's a USB charging outlet. Because of the increased power output, the battery on this one doesn't last quite as long as on the compact version, but you still do get a pretty impressive six hours of playing time when unplugged from the mains. And you can keep an eye on the battery charge status and level via a large display. So if you need the power and the features of a full-size line array PA, but with the added versatility of a smaller battery powered system, the JBL Eon 1 Pro is a professional quality all-in-one setup that can be used pretty much anywhere. I'm so in love with you Punch the soul I'm so in love with you And make love your goal The power of love A force from above Flame on burn desire, love with tongues of fire, purge the soul, make love your goal, make love your goal. So the final type of PA system that we're looking at today are modular sound systems, and these are usually considered to be the kind of conventional PA setup, comprising of individual speakers that are then connected to a mixer unit. Now, these are a little more complicated to set up, requiring more cables to be connected, and they arguably don't look quite as stylish as they tend to be a bit bigger and bulkier. But as this type of system comprises of separate components, you can really tailor the setup for your specific requirements. For example, if you just need to amplify a microphone for speeches, you can probably just get away with using a single speaker cabinet. But then later in the evening, if you need more volume and a wider spread of sound, you can then add more speakers, including subwoofers, to boost the bass end, which is ideal for a wedding DJ. You often also get more bang for your buck with a modular PA system compared to the line arrays that we've looked at. So for example, a system comprising of a pair of these HH Electronics HPT112 speakers and matching subwoofers would be perfect for any band or DJ in a medium to large venue with a total output power of over 2,500 watts RMS. But this would all still come in at around about the same price as the Bose L1 Pro 8 line array that we looked at earlier. Now, of course, there are loads of different PA speakers to choose from, from the likes of Yamaha, Alto, and RCF. So I definitely recommend getting down to your nearest PMT store where you can have a chat with one of our experts who can put together a package especially for you. But taking a quick look at those HH speakers that I've just mentioned, these are great budget-friendly options with each HPT112 featuring a 12-inch low-mid driver and a 1-inch compression horn and the HPT-115 subwoofers, each featuring a 15-inch bass driver with a built-in crossover to split the frequencies between the sets of speakers. These are all active units, meaning they feature built-in Class D amplifiers, and the HPT-112s also feature an onboard two-channel mixer. So if you did just want a simple setup for the best man's speech, you could connect a microphone directly into a single speaker, 
but when it comes around to the evening party with a band or a DJ, the system will then easily connect into a larger mixer or DJ console. The world is on fire, no one can save me but you. It's strange what desire can make foolish people do. And I never dreamed that I'd meet somebody like you. And I never dreamed that I'd love somebody like you. No, I don't want to fall in love. No, I don't want to fall in love. With you So thanks for watching. That was some of the best PA systems for weddings and other special occasions. And if you want to find out more about any of the sound systems that you've seen here, you can visit pmtonline.co.uk or get down to your local professional music technology store and have a word with one of our PA experts for loads more options. As usual, don't forget to follow us on all of the usual social channels at PMT House of Rock. And if you are planning your wedding day and found this helpful, firstly, congratulations. Secondly, I am available for bookings if you do need a wedding singer. <laughs> and finally, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next video.